We're going. Are we going? Producer, are we going? Yes. Okay, here we go. Hello, and welcome to another episode of me eating hot dogs. Before I get to what is agitating me today, I thought I would uh, acknowledge the fact that yes, I got a haircut. I got a haircut here, you can see. I take up a lot less of the frame. Um, it's very difficult out here to get a haircut. I had to uh, go to a back alley. I had to um, knock on a, a, a metal reinforced door. A little slot opened up. They said, uh, what's the password? Of course, it was Dr. Hack in a bush. I went in, man with, with, with sheep shears was waiting for me, and I got myself a haircut. And I didn't want to get a haircut. It was, it was decided uh, in the democracy, which is my family, for me to get a haircut. I was going for the Ben Gurion look, um, but uh, I, I, was, um, I was vetoed, vetoed. Okay, so to get to where, uh, the reason why I am agitated, let me explain. Way back in episode one, it happens to be episode 10 right now, but way back in episode one, I gave everyone the rules. They're very simple. These rules, uh, maybe not even rules, scientific facts, they're facts. And one of the facts, of course, the, the, the one, the foundational fact, which is no ketchup on hot dogs if you're over the age of 10, right? So I've been receiving these these messages. One was, but I like ketchup with hot dogs. I like ketchup with hot dogs. And another one from another young adult, I got this following image, this disturbing image sent to me. It was, it's, 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 uh, it's a mockery. It's a mockery to me. A hot dog, likely, Cuba National, by the way, from just a look, uh, smothered in ketchup. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to go a little bit more into detail here. This is it. I don't really want to speak of this again, but I'm going to speak of it now. Here it is. I'm talking directly to those people, these young adults that are eating hot dogs with ketchup. I'm, I'm talking to you. Anyone else can you know, turn this off, go fast forward to it to, to later on when I'm eating the hot dog. But right now, here's what, here's what I have to say. Grow up. Don't eat like an infant, okay? This is what I'm talking about. Grow up. It's time to start eating like an adult, all right? Because you see, in life, people are gonna judge you on how you eat. And you don't wanna eat like a child. Let, let, me, let me give you some homework. I'm gonna give you some homework. Go watch a movie with Humphrey Bogart. Watch a movie with John Wayne. Watch like a Sam Peckinpah movie, The Wild Bunch. Watch William Holden. And then ask yourself after you've watched those films, does Humphrey Bogart eat a hot dog with ketchup? Does William Holden eat a hot dog? With I think not. I think not. You know why? Because they were adults. And adults just don't do this, okay? They knew there was no, there was, I was not around to give them the rules. They knew the rules, okay? I'm just telling you this because it's like, it's this tough love thing that I want to have happen right now because I don't want you later in life to be humiliated. Okay, everyone that's eating a hot dog with ketchup later in life, that is a young adult, will become will be humiliated. I'm going to give you a scenario, and in this scenario, this is going to be this is going to be tough. But this is this is going to happen somewhere down the line. A, a version of the scenario is going to happen to you. Okay, you're going to go to school, finish school. No one's going to change your eating habits because no one cares. You're going to go to college. You're going to study. You're going to get great grades and your eating habits are not going to change. And then you're going to go get your job. And you know what this job? It's going to be the perfect job for you. It's the exact job you want. Okay? So you get this job. It's the first few weeks of you working there and you are asked, for, asked to go to lunch. I don't know. Maybe you're an associate and these are partners. Maybe they're your boss's boss's boss. But you guys are all going to go to a lunch and you're going to be super excited and you can say, I'm going to dress the part. I'm going to put on my suit. I'm not going to wear my, 
I don't know, basketball shorts or, 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 or soccer shoes or whatever you want to say. All right. And you're going to dress up perfectly. And then you're going to go and you're going to sit down. You're going to sit down with Linda, Mike, and Joseph. Right? And Linda, they're going to, the waiter's going to come up. Linda, what would you like to eat? Linda's going to say, I would like a filet and a cutty and soda. Mike, what would you like to eat? I'm feeling like lamb. I'm going to have myself... I'm going to have myself a mutton chop, some potatoes, and I'm going to have a Syrah. You know that Syrah that you have that just tastes like wet dungarees? That's the one I want, right? And then they're going to go to Joseph. Joseph's going to say, I'd like a filet of sole. It's, I, want it, I want it sauteed in butter over wild rice, and I want a martini. And then they're going to turn to you. All eyes are going to be on you. And they're going to say, what would you like to eat? And you're going to say, um... Can I have chicken nuggets and a bowl of Cheerios with raisins in it and a Diet Coke? Humiliation. Humiliating, right? I'm just saying. I'm saving you from yourself. I'm saving you from yourself. Eat like an adult. It's time. Okay, so I'm going to give you these words of advice. Ready? These three items. Mustard, hot dog with mustard, coffee, black, alcohol, straight up. Those three, those are your rules. Go with that. Go with that in life and you'll be just fine. Look, the, <laughs> the United States is full, the world is full, or has this fascination with kind of a Peter, has this Peter Pan fascination, right? Where adults act like children. We need more adults, less children. So act, start acting like an adult. That's all I'm saying. Start acting like an adult. Okay, I stop. I stop now. Done with my sermon. I don't know if anyone's listening anymore. I don't know if anyone cares. I have to like kind of cool myself off. I got a little hot there. This is all tough love. All tough love. All tough love. It'll, it'll get better. It'll get better. Okay, here we go. Let's get to our hot dog today. Check this out. I'm going to go to Philly. We're going to go to Philly. Deets and Watson, D&W. I like to call it D&W. I think that's what people call it in Philadelphia. D&W. These are uh, natural case and hot dogs, as you can see. As a matter of fact, I, when I first saw them, I, I mistaken them for bar, uh, uh, Boar's Head because their package is almost exactly the same. 1939-ish. I think Deets was going on since like the 20s, and, uh, and then they bought Watson, and uh, they've been making hot dogs since around the 19, uh, late 1930s, early 1940s. Uh, they make all sorts of stuff, and they're getting more and more prolific. I find that there's a lot of decent watching d and uh, types of sausages and stuff in my grocer, much more than used to be. Um, these are from their kind of New York, you can see it says like a New York brand hot uh, franks. And so their New York brands include things that would be like in a deli, I think, like a naval pastrami and a corned beef and things like that are part of their New York brand. Um, again, just like Boar's Head, the way it's packaged uh, in the deli center s section uh, locally by me. Um, I don't know. Let's give them a try. Hello. Welcome back to Me Eating Hot Dogs. Eating edition, eating part. Okay. D and W. Got a D and W hot dog right here. Look at this thing. It looks great. Look at this. This is like a great hot dog looking hot dog. Not too thin, not too uh, girthy there. It's perfect, right? Look at that. Um, I, that's what I love about the natural casing. It makes things just the perfect size. That's exactly what it was meant to be right there. All right. So I've already described it again, 1939. Uh, Philadelphia. Um, they should. They should, Philadelphia should know how to make a good hot dog. I'm just saying out there. So let's give let's let's give this a try. All right, I'm going in. Going in. Yes. And they do make a good hot dog. First thing that hits me is is smoke. It definitely has a smoky flavor to it. Garlic paprika has a great texture. It has a texture very similar to the, to the boar's head hot dog. Maybe even a little tighter. It's got a really good snap to it. 
like a like maybe as strong as that boar's head snap. And the flavor, I, I'll be honest with you, I was a little hesitant because I know that it's it, that it has some sugar in there, and I do taste some lingering sweetness in each of these bites. And I, I and remember, I'm not a big fan of the sweetness. In this case, though, it actually works works pretty well with the hot dog. It isn't an overwhelming sweet. It's uh, it's kind of part of it. So so because I, I would never eat this and say that that is, you know, kind of that industrial hot dog flavor. Good. Mm hmm. All right. Contemplating score, score, D and W. Natural casing hot dogs. Three four. Three four. You heard me. Three four. Me eating hot dog.